This is the world's first color e-ink smartphone, the Hisense A5C. Let's check it out. As you can see here, yes, it is real. It is an actual color e-ink smartphone. There's no funny business going on and there's absolutely no secondary panel or anything like that. This is true color e-ink on this smartphone. It is a smartphone through and through for all intents and purposes. It is running Android. You get all of your stuff up here. You get your flashlight, you get auto rotate, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, data communication, hotspot, power saving mode, screenshot, everything that you would find on a regular smartphone. You even get the brightness dial here because you can turn off or on the front light. You have your back navigation, your home, your multi-tab window, split screen, and you have this button down below. This allows you to change the brightness level as well as screenshot and go into clear mode. You might be seeing that there's a lot of staining up top and this is because we are in smart mode which allows it to become more quick. If we go into clear mode, it looks fantastic. But then when you do anything, you get that flicker, you get that lag. That's because it's trying to give you the full experience every single time. Whereas if you turn it into smart mode like so you see everything's very diluted but it becomes super snappy and super quick as you go to different places everything is very very fast so that is the difference between these two modes at the bottom smooth mode and clear mode there are indeed a few proprietary things on this phone one to mention is this one right here buttons and why we want to go here is because this device has an e-ink button and the e-ink button can be found here the information you can change what the short press does so pressing the e-ink button once you can change it to do basically anything trigger a screen refresh turn on and off the backlight etc we have clear smooth mode switch so we have chosen this button right here to toggle between smooth mode and clear mode thus making the device faster but look worse or look better but slower we also have double click so we have set it to screen refresh so at any point in time if we want to refresh the screen we press it twice and we just wipe away all that ghosting wipe away all that staining you can also long press the e button to start the voice assistant i've turned that off but you can do that if you want you can keep it on like that press and hold and then the voice assistant comes up if you click on e-ink button introduction it will actually give you a little bit of info of what the e-ink is all about you can use it to trigger screen refreshes page flips switches start the application call recording there there's a lot of options on here and it is nice to have that e-ink button the same e-ink button you will actually find on the a5 the a6 and a lot of other devices in their lineup Web browsing is very nice as well. Obviously, we go on the internet on our smartphones, social media platforms, news platforms, etc. This is Goody Reader, and we are in clear mode right now, so you do get that heavy refreshing, heavy ghosting, but you get a very nice image. And remember, we have set that double tap to be able to do a screen refresh. Now, if we go down here, you see we can turn on smooth mode. Smooth mode dilutes the image once again, but it makes everything very quick. You can see how fast that moves now. The color is still there as well. We just showed you a couple images that weren't necessarily in color, but you will see the colors do still shine through even in this diluted mode. And in smooth mode, you get that inertia, you get that lack of screen refreshes, which is very nice. And it's very usable in a realistic day-to-day -day feel. Cloud used in uh, Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. This is the one that 
Because this phone doesn't have any speakers dedicated to multimedia, it does and it doesn't. It does, but it's in the earpiece right next to the actual speaker for your ear. So the loudspeaker and the actual phone call speaker are jam-packed in this little zone. They actually don't have any other cutouts for the speakers. Now secondly, you will see that the video does play quite well in smooth mode. But when you go ahead and switch it to clear mode, you can see that it just goes to smush. And this is because every single frame, the phone is trying to give you a full HD image in color e-ink every single frame. It just simply can't keep up. And that is why Onyx devices, Hisense devices, Boyu devices, they have A2 mode or a sort of speed mode, so to speak. This is their version called smooth mode. And this is why you're able, see it's the same shot here. This is why you're able to play things with a proper frame rate, even in color e-ink is due to this beautiful mode. If you were to turn that off and go back to clear mode, which is the full resolution, you just can't watch the video. It doesn't have the capabilities or the speed to keep up with the image quality. This phone has a lot of preloaded e-reading apps on it. They have a lot of things from China as well. So you will have to find one that is best for you. This particular application is just the stock reader. It's not necessarily indicative of how good or bad this device is at reading books. So you can download the Amazon app. You can download uh, uh, Aldico. You can download basically any reader app you want on here and it'll basically do the same thing. In this regard, we do have the page animations that are still on here. So you can speed that up by changing it to smart mode, but you see it just kind of dilutes itself and gives you that really grainy look, but you do get all that animation. So this is the main problem with this device is that at times it tries to do more than it actually can. So try to find a modest reader that, su that suits you best. And remember, you can always change your e-ink button to page refresh, just like we did, to give it a little bit of a kick to clean things up. We're not going to focus too much on this application in particular, but reading on this phone is quite nice due to the good screen real estate this phone offers. We just briefly touched on ebooks because you guys don't want to see how it looks to read on a color e-ink smartphone. This is what you want to see. Color PDFs at its finest. This is what it's going to realistically look like if you have a PDF on this device. We're using uh, a WPS application to read this PDF. Doesn't really matter what you read, but it does matter of how the colors show. So you can see that it's very fluid. And if we switch modes to clear mode, it looks fantastic. But how does it perform? It's still not that bad. Sideload in your medical documents, your educational documents, go ahead and read to your heart's content. This is just letting you guys know, currently 2020 May, this is just about as good of a color performance you're gonna get on a device. So there's there's no other device that's gonna do it. So if you're if you're kinda looking at this and saying, oh you know, I'll keep my eye open on the market. Well no, this this is honestly all that's out there. They have off camera here I have the iReader C6 but it's a Chinese only device, it's not gonna work for you. This is an Android device that you can sideload in applications, use it in any part of the world, use your Wi-Fi, use regular web browsers. This is the one that's gonna work for you. One major draw about this device is its battery life. Because it doesn't have that extreme drain of battery power coming from the screen, we do see an incredible long amount of time that we are able to use this device. It says 4 days, 10 hours, and 13 minutes on a one-third charge of power. And why this is important is because we have Wi-Fi on, we have the glow light on, and this is the estimated power that you have remaining. You also have a few more things, power savings modes, super power saving modes that bring you up to seven days. Yes, we all know that using the phone is going to alter this number. It's like an MPG rating for a car. We understand that, but what we're saying is this is going to last you instead of having to charge it every day like a regular smartphone before you go to bed you put it on the charger this thing realistically will last three full days before you're gonna have to charge it one downside when you're using the camera is that the colors are fairly muted they do come through a little bit 
and the screen is in a constant smooth mode and this is to keep up with the camera refresh. They couldn't put it in clear mode for you, there's just no way. Snapping photos is very quick and you can go over to video as well and take video. However, the screen is fairly reflective. Both the actual screen and the screen protector they pre-install on there is quite reflective. So it is kind of hard to see what you're pointing at even at full front light. The Hisense A5C is literally the only choice of color smartphone there is worldwide. There's other smartphones out there like the Kingro, the Yoda phone, other Hisense devices, but there is no other color device enabled that is ready for purchase today. This is the only device and truthfully this is the only color device worth buying currently as of May 2020. When it comes down to it, this device is a smartphone through and through. It has all the capabilities and internals of a regular flagship smartphone. The only thing that is really different is that its only way for it to show you things is through its color e-ink panel. That's why you might be comparing it in your mind to an LCD LED panel, but the reality is, is that this is going to last you longer, be better on your eyes, and still give you a great experience. You can buy this on our store at goodyreader.com and if you guys have any other questions, comments or concerns, let us know. And for a review of the Hisense A5C, this is Peter.